special collections, often the collections have um, different types of material uh, in different formats. And uh, we're going to look at some of the audio-visual material that we have in the collections. So we're upstairs um, in special collections, so above the reading room, and this is where we have the Andrew Wall Centre for the Study of African-Asian Christianity. And within that collection we have um, some DVDs, so they're documentaries um, on African Christianity. Um, you'd need to um, get these issued to yourself at the help desk uh, because they're locked, um, so you need that removing. Here I've already unlocked this one. So quite straightforwardly, um, they're CDs and you need a PC that has a compact disc drawer. Open it up, pop it in. Open up your files. Wait for it to recognize it. Some are faster than others. Double click on. Make the page larger and here we go. This is the DVD. And press play. As with um, all uh, audio collections, if you're studying them in the library, you will need to use headphones um, because obviously, um, for the sake of other users, you don't want to be blasting out in the library. One of the major collections we have here at Liverpool Hope is the Gradwell collection belonging to the Archdiocese of Liverpool. The collection came from the Seminary of St Joseph's College in Upholland, Lancashire, when it closed in the 1970s. The Upholland Northern Institute, the UNI, was set up to aid adult Christian education and the continuing development of clergy in the North West. Talks organised by the UNI were recorded to cassette tapes and sold across the UK, both to priests and lay audiences, to provide material for study or group talks. In 2013, the tapes were digitised and made available online and copies may be freely downloaded from the Archdiocese of Liverpool website. So the material was digitised um, onto the Archdiocese of Liverpool's um, web pages that you can download for free, um, but we also digitised and put onto CD. Um, and there are some 870 CDs in this collection, so it's quite, quite a substantial collection of um, Christian material. To access the um, digitised unitapes online and download them for free, go to www.unitape.org and this page will come up. As you can see, it starts with a little welcome introduction and an explanatory note of what it is and then if we scroll down you can download a pdf copy of the catalogue to browse but also you can browse using the topic speaker and subject indices which are also on the the top um, index bar at the top here so let's browse by topic for example so let's have a look, spirituality and prayer, for example. Spirituality, and this takes you to all the lectures that focus on spirituality. And if we just go to the top one and press play. You can't actually hear that, but it's coming out through my speaker, so um, fully operational, ready to go. So let's now go back and view by speaker index. So here we have in alphabetical order all the, the speakers, um, all the lecture tapes. 
Uh, so if you, you have somebody in mind in particular, um, you can look to see what, they, what they've done. Okay, click on through and again, press play and away you go. And let's finally search by subject index. And again, this is alphabetical. Family. Press play and away you go. So it's very, very easy to use. Um, just look at the PDF version of the catalogue, which this is what you can download and look at your leisure um, to decide what it is that you, you want to have a look at. So if we just scroll down, there's some information to start with, and then we have the contents and then in more detail. Going back to our homepage, and then you can start for a brand new search. And that's it. Away you go. Liverpool Hope has been fortunate enough to receive materials from the estate of Archbishop Stuart Blanche, 1918 to 1994. These include notes from his student days at Wycliffe Hall, Oxford, and notes for sermons, lectures, talks and speeches made while Bishop of Liverpool, 1966 to 1975, and Archbishop of York, 1975 to 1983. There are also handwritten works on the Gospels and transcripts of various broadcasts and press articles. Lists of these papers are available to download from our web pages. Technically, this is not an audio collection, but rather transcripts of an audio collection, so I thought it worth including. The British Library is home to the nation's Sound Archive, an extraordinary collection of over 6.5 million recordings of speech, music, wildlife and the environment. These recordings from the UK and around the world date from the birth of recorded sound in the 1880s to the present day. The Sound Archive forms a vital part of the nation's collective memory and tells a rich story of the diverse history of the UK. However, sound items are under threat, both from physical degradation and as the means of playing them disappear from production. Professional consensus internationally is that time is running out to save many of our sound collections. There is an urgent need to preserve as much as possible in the next decade before they become unreadable and effectively lost. The Unlocking Our Sound Heritage Project, part of the Save Our Sounds programme, aims to preserve and provide access to thousands of the UK's rare and unique sound recordings, not just those in the British Library's collections, but also key items from partner collections across the UK. The British Library Sound Archive has one of the largest collections of oral history and life story interviews in the world. They cover a wide range of subject areas relating to British life, work, culture and experience. Oral history is a method of conducting historical research through recorded interviews between a narrator with personal experience of historically significant events and a well-informed interviewer with the goal of adding to the historical record. The British Library collect audio and video interviews and suitable original oral history material that provides insight into aspects of UK personal memory, identity and experience. You can follow what's happening with their oral history collections via the Sound and Vision blog. The North West Film Archives, part of the library service of the Manchester Metropolitan University, cares for over 50,000 items from the pioneer days of film in the mid-1890s to video production of the present day. The work of both a professional and the amateur is collected and they actively look to add to the archive to represent life today. In fact, there's a lockdown life appeal seeking your experiences at work and home during the lockdown. So if you have any videos or film footage you'd like to send in, please do get in touch. I'm Nick from the Northwest Film Archive at Manchester Metropolitan University and I'm here to ask for your help. 
The Northwest Film Archive is looking to preserve your experiences of the 2020 coronavirus pandemic for future generations. So, whoever and wherever you are in the Northwest, if you have any video showing life at home or at work during this unique period in all of our lifetimes, we'd love to hear from you. Click on the link below to find out more about us and about how to get your videos to us, and one of our team will be in touch with you. Thank you for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon.